In many industries, equipment must be inspected on a regular basis. This includes mechanical checks, fluid checks, safety checks, and more. Our software allows you to record these checklists and save them to the equipment's inspection history. Inspection checklists are tied to and configured within the preventive maintenance schedule templates. So as an example, I've got my 001 unit here. And on the top right of the edit screen, I can see that it's attached to the light trucks PM schedule template. So what we'll have to do is edit that template to add our inspection checklist. To do so, we'll click on setup on the very top and we'll click PM schedule templates. My light trucks template is already pulled up here. To look at the inspection checklist, click on the tab daily inspections on the top right. Right now our daily inspections list is empty, but we can go ahead and add checklist items in here. To do so, you want to hit the blue new button on the bottom. Here it's going to ask us for an inspection checklist name. So here we can do some test ones, so we can say checklist item one. That adds it to the list. If I, if I want to populate this list with more items without having to hit new over and over, on this screen here, let's say I type in something else, I can hit the save plus button. That adds the checklist item, but it keeps the screen up. Um, so that way I don't have to cl keep clicking on new. So it's a time saver. So let's add some more things like, uh, let's say check fluid levels. Let's see, check body. Or let's say check uh, windows for cracks. And I think that's good enough to start. So just remember, it's tied to the PM schedule template. You can't add individual checklists to units. Um, they have to be done through the schedule template. So now I've got my four items in here. If I need to change any of these, let's say I, I had a typo or something, uh, I can click the pencil icon on the right hand side and make a change. Or if there's something that I added that I no longer need, you can click on the X on the right hand side to delete that item. So now that I have the checklist items added, let's go ahead and fill out an inspection record. So if I close out of here with the X button, it'll automatically save what I've done. On my 001 unit, to fill out a new inspection record, I would click on the action button on the right hand side and click on inspection. My equipment is already filled in at the top. I have the option to say who is filling out the inspection right now. The date is automatically populated with today's date. I can update the odometer of the unit through this. So let's say I'm doing the inspection and it's at 7,100 or 71,500. When I save this inspection, my meter on the equipment will automatically update to this number. Condition, this is just a general condition of the unit. Um, so you can leave it on good or you can, you can change it. On the right hand side are general notes. So if you noticed anything um, that you wanted to keep in the history for whatever reason, you can type something in the notes box here. You also have the opportunity to do notes for each specific checklist item below. So if we go down to the bottom here, under the inspection items section, there's a checkbox for all okay. So if you have a checklist with you know 30 or 40 items on it, instead of going through and checking each, you can just check this one box and it'll check okay on everything. We have a fault column here. So if there's anything actually broken for whatever reason or, or something that needs attention, you can mark it as a fault. Notice that it turns red. We have our inspection column, which just tells us what the checklist item is. And then we have a notes box here. So here I can say uh, front windshield cracked. So now I've added a note 
to that checklist item to explain what the fault is. To the right of that, I have a camera icon. If I need to take a picture, I can, I can take a picture and attach it to this inspection record. And then to the right of that, I have a wrench. Now, the wrench means I want to make a repair request for this specific checklist item that needs to be addressed. So that's one way of doing it. We also have a bulk repair request option on the bottom. So let's say if there's three or four different checklist items and they all need attention, instead of hitting the wrench on each one, I can check fault a few times here and notice it says three faults because I checked three items. So that's just a time saver. For now, we'll go ahead and leave the one fault here. I'm going to go ahead and click on new repair request. On the top, my equipment is already filled in. I can say who's requesting the repair, when the repair is due by, either by date or you can do it by meter on the equipment. Underneath, it gives me a list of the repairs that are needed. So the check windows for cracks, that automatically came over from our checklist item, so we didn't have to fill that out. You can change the type and priority if you wish. Labor time, this is the estimated time it would take to fix it. You can leave it at zero if you're unsure. And then the notes that I typed in about that unit are already here in the notes box. So anything that you type in on the inspection record that needs fixing will automatically come over here, so you do not have to type it twice. If I want to add another repair, I can click the Add Repair button on the bottom. So if there's anything in addition to my checklist items that I've noticed that I want to fix, I can go ahead and choose a new repair and add it to the list here. Once I'm done adding all my repairs, I can go ahead and click on the Save button. This brings me back to the inspection screen. Once everything here looks like it's good and filled out, I can go ahead and hit save on the bottom and that'll save my inspection record to the unit's history. To view history of inspections, let's say I want to pull up an old one, click the action button on your equipment list for the unit that you want to look at. Click on history. On the top row, you'll have a number of tabs, so click on the one that says Inspections. And then any inspection records that are added to the unit are going to show up on their own row. So you can see the one that we just filled out here. If I actually want to look at it, I can double click on it, or I can hit the Edit button here with the pencil. And then I can see what I filled out. Likewise, if let's say this was filled out by accident, I can hit the X button on the right hand side to delete the inspection record. If we close out of the history screen and go back to our equipment list, on my unit 001, notice that there's a red highlight now on the left hand side. If I click on the plus sign, I can see that those repair requests that I added from my inspection record are now here and then I can record maintenance or issue a work order to go ahead and take care of those two items. Thanks for watching. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel, or for more information about our software products, you can visit our website at mtcpro.com.